Okay, so I wanted to revisit just a couple of points um, uh, about tasting, about flavors, and um, the other day we had talked about um, the five yeah. flavor profiles, and, and you added that there's a six. There is. Would a, you share that with us? I will. Yeah. Okay. So you, you want to look at the five that that we all uh, are familiar with, and, and so we have uh, sweet, we have bitter, we have salty. Right, the, the, mm -hmm. fl the flavor of salt. Um, you have um, umami, which mm -hmm. is the, the kind of earthy uh, um, note that you get from meat, from mushrooms, yeah. from soy sauce, mm -hmm. uh, things like that. Uh, you have um, acid, mm -hmm. uh, and then within that, you have a new one, which is called kokumi. Kokumi. And kokumi, okay. and and be ready for this. Kokumi is really hard to define, so it, 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 it goes into um, texture okay. and the different textures. It goes into mouthfeel okay. and, and, and the it, foods that have the highest level of kokumi are foods that have been slow cooked for a long time, so like braised meats. Oh, okay. uh, wines that tend to go with those are wines that age for a long time as well. Uh, so they have that extended aging. So I, I'm, I'm just getting into the beginning of like doing my own experimentations uh -huh. with Kakumi and wine pairings. Okay. Um, but it, it's, it, it is like in the world of, of food and flavor and wine, it, it is the coolest, most cutting edge thing coming out right now. So what, what kinds of wines would, would represent Kakumi? So uh, going into uh, wines, uh, wines of Rioja, right? Okay. Where you have a lot of mandatory mandatory time and oak aging. Okay. Uh, Barolo, Barbaresco. Okay. Uh, um, Chianti, uh -huh. Chianti Classico Reservas. Okay. Uh, Brunello de Montalcino, wines that have to spend a lot of time in oak, and really have extended aging. Um, and the, but I, I, I'm, this is what I'm really curious about is to see champagne because champagne ages like right. certain vintage champagnes yeah. have 36 uh, like have many months in uh, mm -hmm. on, on their leaves mm -hmm. right uh, or sparkling wines from the UK have lo lots of aging same thing with uh, ca certain cavas they have a lot of time in bottle aging so I'm curious to see how that uh, relates to Kokumi as well. A question um... A friend suggested, what happens when you get to a restaurant and you order a wine? This is a question for the sommelier part of you. Mm -hmm. um, and you don't like the wine that's been presented. They've uncorked a bottle for you, or they've even decanted something for you, and you really don't like it. Yeah. What do you do? Uh, so the, the, there's a couple different things there, okay. right? Uh, so it, it, it's, it's because really, Dining's a dance, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and w w within that, if, if it's a bottle that you just chose mm -hmm. and you didn't ask for a recommendation or anything okay. like that, that's one thing, uh -huh. right? But if it's a bottle that, that, that was recommended to you okay. and that you've never tried before, uh -huh. in that case, I, th I think the sommelier should find something else f for, you, for you to have, okay. right? So, yeah, I, I think that there's a fine line, right? Yeah. And and in, in this world, I try and be a diplomat always. Right. So <laughs> within that, um, if it's something that was recommended to you and you don't like it, don't drink it. But if it's something that you chose on your own off the mm -hmm. list, that I, I that, that's okay. That, that, that that's as part of purchasing things, right? That's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have Buyer's to go remorse. in. And, you yeah. gotta go with what you what you chose. Exactly. Okay. But on the flip side of that, though, um, always ask questions. If right. there's someone on right. the floor who, who's, who's working the floor and knows about wine, ask them what the wine tastes like. Right. Ask them if, be like, hey, these are the wines I like to drink. Uh, is like, what would be like this? Okay. Right. Like, never be afraid to be like, I like this, this, and that. And find me a wine that tastes like that. Tastes like that. Okay. All right. So what has been your favorite dish that you've ever had on the Outer Banks? You don't have to say where, but, but what is your favorite dish? dish that you've tried? Okay, my favorite dish that I have tried in the Outer Banks uh, is, I, I actually, you know, it's going to sound really simple, but like um, uh, ro roasted uh, oysters, clams, uh, and like champagne. And champagne. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. And on that note, 
Thank you for joining us today. We hope that you enjoy visiting the Outer Banks, tasting some wine, and pairing it with some fantastic seafood dishes. Thank you, Max. Angel, thanks for having me. Uh, it was a pleasure to be here.